Good morning, Ms. Levine. I'm so happy uh, uh, to see you today, and I'm uh, I'm very privileged to see you, and uh, I'm very happy that this uh, interview has been granted. And I uh, like to find out about the program, what you installed in uh, NYU, and that's basically why I'm here. But we will we could talk about something else. We have plenty of time. Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be with you, and I hope that between us we can uh, go into the uh, problems of philanthropy and fundraising in depth to be helpful to other organizations and to other people. So thank you for having me. Uh, Mrs. Levine, uh, I attended a very beautiful conference three years ago, and uh, you've been a very enthusiastic speaker on that conference uh, that called uh, 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 New York Fundraising Day, where you spoke eloquently about importance of uh, uh, to do professional fundraising. And the reason of this um, interview, uh, the, uh, the main goal of this interview, I came from Russian community and uh, we came from the country which never knew what non-profit is and what's the philanthropy. So uh, Russian community, although we came because of the fundraising of American Jewry, most of people in our community have no clue what, is, what, what it is non-profit and what's the philanthropy and what's the fundraising is. So that's main goal of today is to put the light to inform Russian community. Can I say something in Russian? So first, before you answer me. Я очень счастлива, что мы сегодня проводим этот интервью с, с легендарной миссис Левин. И поскольку, поскольку мы все прибыли со стороны с бывшего Советского Союза, где э, понятия не имели, что такое non-profit, или что такое филантропи, или что такое быть фандрейзер. Э, цель сегодняшней, э, сегодняшней передачи именно объяснить, э, какую функцию выполняют люди э, по профессии фандрейзер. И это человек, который установил программу в НВАЮ. Uh, Levin. Вот сегодня она нам будет это говорить. Uh, first, I should, first I should tell you that Russia is not the only country that has no tradition in fundraising. No European country has the tradition that the United States has in fundraising. And it's interesting how it developed here. Uh, when this country was founded, the federal government was very weak. It didn't have any money. It had a lot of land. So people got land and they went out west and they started little cities and little towns, but they had to provide their own hospital, their own school, their own community services. And so that tradition of taking care of yourself, of raising funds to support all the things that you need is very fundamental to the United States. And that started even before the income tax laws were changed and passed so that there are advantages to give money. So in this country you have, in the United States, a tradition and you have it that makes it sensible to give money. No European country has that. Today they are all coming to the United States to learn about fundraising.